Jill and Andy from HWD Stationery, and we're here today to talk about my a few of my favorite things, my top five of this moment favorite things. Right, so this is part one of uh, our favorites. Uh, I'll the next video I'll go over my favorites and, and everything. So, um, do you want to just briefly uh, tell everybody what your favorites are, and then we can kind of show them <laughs> yeah so my favorites I've picked a couple of notebooks um, been to work because I feel like we've made our love of these known by now I think yeah I think it's <laughs> caught on so I have a been to work notebook that's a favorite um, a dingbat the wildlife collection and then retro rollerball pens yeah retro 51 those are uh, those are nice not not a fountain pen. I like me a rollerball. And then the zebra mild liners, which I feel are pretty well known. And then it wouldn't be a list without cards. So I have the crown mill bicolor cards. Yeah. Which I like a lot. Yeah, and those go back to the very beginnings of HWE. Those are some of the first products we've offered. Those are uh, really beautiful cards and great quality. Yeah, I so. dig them. All right, so without further ado, why don't we uh, take a closer look? Take a closer look. All right. All right. My first favorite that I'll talk about is the Dingbats Wildlife Collection. I know we have a video for the Earth Collection, and I like the Earth Collection. I like the colors of the Earth Collection, but I really, my favorite for me is the wildlife. What I really like about it is it's just a more basic notebook. It doesn't have like the table of contents feature or the future log. Like I find I don't use those things as much. So I kind of like the notebook without them. So this has just a lot of just freedom to do whatever you want, which clearly is a thing I do. Um, it also has a lot more choice in it. You have line ruled, the dotted, a graph, and then just plain. A lot of people complain because it's got the perforated pages. I've never had a page fall out on me. I've never had a page tear or come close to it. So that has just been a complete non-issue for me. It also has the cute little animals. The elephant is probably one of our best sellers and clearly the one I chose. Then you also got the sweet little bear, the tiger, and this really pretty like, like standard orange, the red kangaroo, the black duck, which you probably can't see, but I promise you there's a duck on that. The blue, they call this a whale. I think it looks like a dolphin. This is actually what Alana, my daughter has. She has the dolphin. And then the green deer, which I'm pretty sure is my next one. Yeah, almost positive. That's what I'm buying next. Um, but I just love, I don't know, I love those notebooks. They feel well made. Like Dingbats is just a cool company. I like owning it. I feel good owning it and using it. It's not just made in China. I don't know. It makes me happy. My next obviously has to be a, a Benderverk. These are the exercise booklets. So they're just paper, um, like paper covers, and really small. Um, they just come lined. What I like using these for is my gratitude journals. So I keep it by my bedside and they're pretty, so they look good on my bedside. And then I just every day write down like my highlight of the day. Um, so I don't need a big thick notebook for that. I just want something simple that can just stay on my table or go in the drawer and come out every night. And I really like these for that. They're also good for a little, if you need a project notebook or you want to take, I don't know, class notes and something pretty. I really like these. They've got the really nice Benderberg paper, the really pretty covers. I don't know, they stand out, they feel good, and they're just nice and small, so it's easy to use. Um, next is something I feel like whoop, most of us know, maybe, maybe we don't, and if you don't, you should, and that's the Zebra Mild Liners. I love using these for accents in my journal, um, for coloring, they have dual tip. So they have like the highlighter tip, so if I wanna like highlight lines, and then they have like a chisel tip if you want to use it to color or whatever, which I sometimes do. But what I like about these is they're mostly pastels, so they give you subtle color. It's not like a big, bright yellow highlighter mark. 
Um, it's just, it's subtle, it's really pretty and easy, and they come in tons of colors. We carry these both as individuals, which is how I buy them, or we have them in all the different packs. This is Joe's pack. He's a pack person, I'm an individuals person. I like choice. No one's gonna tell me what I have to have. Joe goes packs. Nice and easy, I guess. Next, we're gonna feature a pen. This pen, this is my probably first really nice pen. Um, it's the Retro 51, the Tornado. I like it. This predates HWE. Joe got this for me. And I was like, hey, we should carry these. And so now we do. That's how it happens. Um, I like it. This is the green. My favorite color is green, so we could green. Uh, but they come in the best colors. This, I don't know if you can see it, is like a peacock. But their colors are all like this, like vibrant, and shiny, and just really pretty. They come in all kinds of basic colors. And I just, I like the size of it. It's small. It fits in my bag. It fits in my pocket. It's got great balance. It has good weight. It writes nicely. I just dig it. And they all come in these really fun retro tubes, which is just delightful. I love all things that look retro and vintagey, and my pen tubes would be included in that. I just like them. And again, they just seem like a cool company. I like knowing who I'm buying from, and they seem cool. My last favorite is um, our basic, we've had these for a while, um, note cards. They're just this, like a flat, like two-tone, like they have a border and then whatever in the middle um, card. And then the envelopes are real pretty. They're, they got the color on the inside. I just love these for anything. I've used them for wedding cards, for showers, birthdays, thank yous, just because. They're thick and heavy, so they feel special. Like you can use it for a wedding and it feels appropriate for that. But because they're so simple, you can use it for a, a just cause and it still feels appropriate for that. And these, like most of our stuff, come in, I'm not gonna show you all, all because we've done, but some great, great colors. The blue and the white, green and white, like this teal and white. This is probably my next one. We have some that are not white. I'm trying to find them. Navy. Oh, that's really fun. Really fun green. But I know we have some that are cream. I think that's more of a cream color. Oh, here we go. So then we have, this is like blue on blue, which is really sharp. And I know we have a pink one. It's like pink with gray, which is stellar. Um, there's just a lot of choices here. And I feel like it's just nice to have a box on hand for the whatevers you need. Like I said, they're great for weddings, showers, graduations, I mean, anything. There's just a nice quality card that's good for any occasion. And wow, that is my top five. That is my top five of this exact moment. I feel like if you ask me in 20 minutes what my top five is, it might change slightly. It's, it's hard Yeah. picking just five. I agree. In fact, today, I mean, you stole two of my top five, so I'm yeah. going to have to start thinking, but it is uh, constantly evolving. Um, it is. It's nice when we get to pick out what we carry. It helps a little bit. We carry what we love, and so it's hard to choose just five. Right, exactly. But um, overall, this is, these are five awesome products that both of us have used um, on numerous occasions, so we continue to use those including those mild liners so um they're all good things yeah so thank you for joining us for part one of our top five uh favorite products and uh next time we'll go over what mine are once i have nailed down uh, exactly um which ones i want to show because again it really is evolving um so as always if you want to see something closer or want us to look at something again just leave us a comment. We're always looking for video ideas. Yeah. And um, while we do select products that we think um, you know you guys would like, um, we'd also like input from you as well. So if there's a product that you're aware of, 
um, that you think is great quality and you'd like to see us carry it, also, you know, let us know. Um, you know, we don't know every product out there, so um, it'd be great to have input, input from you as well. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. All right.